Hello, welcome back to this video and today we are going to be talking about lots of things that are happening to Nemesis and a brand new video that's just been uploaded today. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> First of all, we are just going to look at this amazing video that Alton Towers have just put on today uh, about Nemesis. So I think it's an advert for Nemesis. Um, so let's have a look at it. <laughs> Someone cover my break for me, I'm sad. that video it was so good the first time i watched it i was like omg i'm so excited for nemesis now i know nemesis opens tomorrow but i won't be um there tomorrow i'll be there the next day because tomorrow i will be at legoland windsor resort and we are going to be looking at the new roller coaster coming to legoland um and it might be testing so i'll probably um if it's testing, I will get some videos of it testing, um, new for 2024, but I'm really sad that Nemesis, I won't be able to go on Nemesis on the official opening day because we had to calculate it and apparently it's supposed to be the biggest queue that Nemesis has had for, or for Alton Towers has had ever for its life. Um, apparently it's supposed to have an eight hour plus queue for Nemesis, which is crazy. Um, and apparently, if I get there about, uh, I think it's about, um, I think it's about 10 o'clock or something. Uh, if I get into the park at 10 o'clock, um, what will happen is once I'll go to Nemesis, because I have a Merlin Pass and I don't, I haven't booked the uh, Alderson Towers uh, resorts. Um, so I'll go on to Nemesis and it'll be really busy and apparently I won't get onto Nemesis until six o'clock at night. So I thought I don't think I want to do this but I um I did really want to go on Nemesis but we had a look apparent uh, and at the moment you had to book tickets to go to Nemesis because you're a Merlin Pass holder. It just allows Alton Towers to know when uh, it just shows how many people are coming to Alton Towers and at the moment that thing is fully booked so you can't go Alton Towers on that day um, and I know theme park worldwide um, so everyone kept speculating and think that Alt uh, Nemesis Reborn would be opening on the 16th of March so he op uh, he um, booked his ticket uh, with his Merlin Pass uh, I think it was about three months ago something more further I think it was um for uh, nemesis so he can get his t ticket reserved um and i know once um nemesis reborn was announced uh it was like sold out really quickly and i didn't know that you had to book a ticket to uh to uh, so just let Alton towers know that how many people are coming i didn't know that um i didn't know that so I couldn't get, a, a, I was waiting, I was like super excited and I realised I had to book a ticket to go to Alton Towers. So sadly I can't go, but I will be going to Legoland uh, tomorrow and then the next day we're going to Alton Towers to 
test out Nemesis Reborn. Now, hopefully, the queue is a bit shorter. And yeah, so uh, we've just gone off that topic now for the video. Uh, so the video, it is really good. Um, I like how it's got the eye, but it hasn't officially shown us the actual eye on the station, which is like, I just wanted to see the eye because I saw the thumbnail. I was like, oh my God, is this an actual nemesis eye but it's not sadly um but i like how he's picked it up and then that the uh, nemesis alien has put him on the ride and made him go all around and around all over and then it's got all the sound effects and all the smoke effects and i'm really excited to ride nemesis uh on well, people are going on the 16th of March, but I'm going on the 17th of March. Just one day away, but I'm really excited to go on this. Because I think the teaser video looks really good. And, yeah. So, just pulling that harness down, going up that lift. It'll go through all these inversions. The corkscrew, the zero-G roll, the outer bank turn. And, so, yeah. This is going to be a really good thing when I get there. So, yeah. Now, next, we are going to talk about another video that Autumn Towers uploaded. I think it was about two days ago that Autumn Towers uploaded this video. Um, so we're just going to show it right now. Um, so, yeah. video you could see lots of things um for nemesis and it's got some new special effects and if you look in this picture as we can see some smoke effects are coming out of the helicopter by that um by the i think it's a i think it's like 40 degree um turn uh stall turn and it goes all the way around and there's a helicopter in the middle but the thing is they put a smoke machine inside the helicopter so it looks like it's just broken down and then if we um look in this picture as you can see there is some lights and what they do is they turn on i think it's um when it goes just off the lift hill they just turn on and then as nemesis goes over that z over that quartz screw uh no it's not a court screw i think it i think it's a court screw um when it gets to the top it turns the lights are turned off um which i think is a good effect because it could be like something with the phalanx and the new theme for nemesis is to do with the phalanx and uh, not with um with the uh what do you call it oh yeah with the um the track wrapping around nemesis so this one is themed with the phalanx research facility and hopefully like Curseville manor they will have some phalanx actors for a couple of days um just to get used to the feeling and uh, some phalanx actors like Curseville manor um and um some and there's some other special effects with at uh, nemesis and apparently when nemesis opens on the 16th of march they're gonna have some sort of show so maybe one of couple of arms will move up and the glowing red eye will shine and then some like sounds of nemesis might uh, uh like say something you know um so i think they will do that for the show and we've got some other things as well that's happening to nemesis but this is a good video because it just gives you a a feel of what nemesis will look like uh on opening day and plus 
Alton Towers on Nemesis's open day is going to have Alton after dark. So Nemesis will be open until like, I think it's about 10 o'clock it's open till. So you'll be experiencing Nemesis Reborn in the dark, which we can have some new effects. But when I go, it's not going to, it's not going to be open until late. But we could have some, uh, at least I'm on Nemesis. And if you if you have watched the um, video I uploaded about the news reporter and the first ride on one of my shorts, you can see inside of the station, it's just all red. And I know when Nemesis was originally, it was all, it was like, I think it was red and some pink and then like the gates, the air gates were all brown, which I don't think is like a good theme, but they painted it like mostly all red. And I'm so excited just to ride this thing because this will be my first ever time going on Nemesis uh, because I never I, I never went on it when I was uh, when it closed because I didn't have Merlin passes so that's why I, I couldn't really go on it because it would be too much money to go and it'd probably be expensive because it's the last day. Now other people have been saying that Nemesis. Um, some people from Texas might come over just to see Nemesis and I think some from Australia and I think some from Africa is coming just to see Nemesis. Now I think this is quite special to John Wardley because he actually made this monster machine and people from all around the world are coming to see this ride uh, awaken. So that is a really good thing. Next, we are going to talk about a couple of days ago, Alton Towers have just have released a, a video about new things for 2024, which things we already know about, and some new things, some strange things that I was like, why would they do that? So, um, the thing is, in one of my videos, uh, my videos, I put that the Alton Towers dungeons will be closing. Per, well, not permanently, be during the summer, it will be closed down for a good reason. Because in that 2024 video, it says that it will be new, it will be converted into something new for Scarefest for 2024. And this is going to be really exciting um, for 2024 because you can have new scare mazes. Or some people have been thinking that maybe Daz Games Panic might move over to there because I know uh, Daz Games Panic was it was in a way it was in the way a bit. So I think they will move it over to the Alter Towers Dungeons um, just to give it a bit of space. But I suppose it would be a bit scary for kids that go into uh, the world of David Walliams because there'll be loud noises, some screams and other things. So I think, I don't think they'll make it Dad's Day's Game Panic. And plus the Trick or Treat Town will be over there. So it'll probably scare some kids as well from all those screams and all noises. So it's not really good for kids um, and other people. And if you look in this picture... I had a look in this picture and I thought, what is this? I recognise this. Do you recognise what it is? Yeah, it's, it looks like Survival Games at Fall Park. Now, what could this be? So, at the moment, this scare maze will be next to, uh, it'll be opposite, it'll be near Curse of Autumn Manor. And it will be near Nemesis. Now, some people may think that this is a new scare maze for Emily Alton. So, they might do a new scare maze for Emily Alton. About uh, maybe put some lighting and smoke effects, jump scares um, of Emily Alton. And maybe some dolls going out and loud noises and whatever. Um, but some people might think it's a Nemesis. Like a Phalanx sort of facility. But I suppose... The Phalanx facility is basically like Nemesis Subterra, and some people have been saying that the beast might be in that scare maze, but the beast is over by Nemesis. So how would it go from Nemesis to there, and then you get back and it's there again? It just don't make sense. So I don't think they would do a Phalanx um, thing, um, but. 
I think a cursed little man of scare maze would be really good because you could just have Emily Alton just running around and then scaring people. So I think that would be a good scare maze. But it does look like survival games, so maybe survival games too. You never know. Survival games too will be a good thing for Alton Towers. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.